ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಎ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈನ್ ಹೂ ಡಸ್ ಟ್ರೇಡಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಜೆರೋದ ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಈ ಕೇಮ್ ಟು ಮೀ ಸಮ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಸಮ್ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ಮೀ ಈ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಕಾರ್ಯುಲೇಟ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಕಾರ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಈ ವಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅನಲೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಪಂಚಾಂಗ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಸ್ಟ್ರಾಲಜಿಕಲ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಮೀಟರ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೂನ್ ನವಾಂಶ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ so whatever trading profit that he does he wanted to know which elements is uh, <coughs> or pouring the other one and uh, if we can ma- make uh, something out of it so i was thinking over by i thought the selling date and time would generally be more insightful uh, and so i went ahead and created an excel where uh, the profit that he realizes Uh, because i saw that he realizes the profit only at the time of the selling mm, and therefore uh, that would reflect the end result of the trade so tracking the selling date time uh, from the zero the output that he was uh, sharing with me i could uh, correlate with astrological conditions of the panchankam elements and see the alignment with positive or negative outcomes uh when the trade is closed so and later when i discussed with him he felt that uh, the buying time would be more relevant because that decides uh, whether you would make a profit or not uh, whatever it is you can modify this excel what i am sharing today is an excel uh, to use the co- correlation for uh, correlating the profit uh, based upon the selling time okay here is a uh, i'll call it uh, my friend that took up uh, this he pulled from his uh, uh, zero the output which gives the order id and the order execution time so the execution time for each order is there from his zero the output and he had a separate excel which i will also share separately as a template where for each instrument which uh, he got the selling price uh, whatever he sold it for and what the profit he made because of that selling so we know the sell date uh, he just had noted down the sell date and the sell price and the profit he got but i need the exact time of selling uh, he had not noted it down but then the zero the part gives you that the zero the trade book gives you when the order was executed so i have a uh, year a udf to find order execution time exactly because it uh, he would have noted some date uh, and some uh, sell price so it has to match multiple things here it has to match this particular apollo tire instrument it has to match this sell date this sell price uh, then that would be the time and these are the outputs uh, in a particular format it gives the year and there is a t in between and the time is also added there so i had to remove the t and get the date order time and from which i get the gmt and for this gmt you uh, calculate all the astrological parameters like uh, uh, you determine what is the inams or number that uh, inams or number i think uh, i have fixed it for 27 or something you can uh, let me check if there is a hidden sheet here workspace is there so Uh, okay this year i workspace doesn't have the inams i think it's a fixed inams number i have used here and therefore we get the ascendant uh, sun moon uh, you can modify that the inams number you can plug in the number as per our previous astrological sheets if you want uh, so i get the paksha the paksha rule the tithi tithi number tithi left nakshatra all the astrological parameters of relevance the panchanga elements essentially not all so for uh, the date order time so this this portion is uh, was very critical to me the find order execution time which is going to match the sell date and the sell price and the instrument uh, to the exact zero the table here so it matches these all items and gets me the execution time that and then we create a pivot tables are uh, put in here automatically once this gets updated the pivot table should get updated and as you see here uh, there is the paksha in this person makes more profit uh, 
in krishna paksha compared to pournamasya uh, and even shukla paksha so he seems to be doing well in krishna paksha and even in krishna paksha shukla ashtami he, he all uh, I mean more the data that he collect uh, it will emerge where you are lucky and where you are uh, really into pitiable state so shukla ashtami seems to be do, uh, doing good for him and the thursdays seem to be good fairly good and of course you should avoid saturday saturdays are very poor for him uh, sadhya the yoga seems to be the best for him and uh, here i think some are uh, nakshatras are not known here perhaps because uh, it's not able to correlate or something let to check their why putra palguni does well for him that way the karana bhava karana seems to be doing uh, aries uh, moons rasi in aries seems to be nice for him a uh, moons uh, in taurus where uh, this is so and when that way nine padas of the moon moons uh, four padas uh, uh, basically in a nakshatra the ascendant rasi so this give you a flavor for uh, what are the lucky elements as per panchanga and astrological parameters that is in tune with uh, the particular person who is trading so this is what i wanted to share with you so you can also use it uh let me also walk you through how he gets this uh, gross profit that he has given me as number so these are inputs so the instrument the sell date sell price and the gross profit one has to give us an input rest of the astrology and also the zero the trade book entirely one has to give us an input with these two the order date time and the astrological parameters are calculated by this template the another template that i wanted to share with you is uh, what i call the trading journal template where what he uses as a trading journal this again some people were asking how in excel i can maintain my own trading journal i am not an expert in all this just i was uh, giving a help to him so uh, there will be very many better methods to do these things what here i do is uh, just write the name of the suppose we include something uh, all the instruments just the first letter uh, Uh, if you put uh, hbl it will automatically write this year apollo if you put apollo it will put the apollo tires limited year maybe a, that's a very useful thing that excel has so let me put uh, say tvs or something tvs motor company comes here and you can add it there okay that way so it has a okay so this as uh, let me show you the columns the ticker symbol it automatically puts so you you have to enter the buying date yourself uh, essentially this all should also be i am putting all this uh, whatever entry you have to make sometimes you write down buying date but if it is not relevant to you you can leave it uh, the quantity of stocks uh, that was purchased by the person at what price he bought it so these are entries by the individual at what price he sold it uh, the selling date also should be given by the user okay the other ones are actually captured by excel itself so this is a buy position buy position if you check the formula it has the buy price so it atom buy price is something as an is an input at what price you bought it uh the buy quantity into buy price is the buy value okay the buy position of course is something different buy position is the 52 week low and 52 week high so where does it stand it is uh, standing at a 46% uh, uh, between the 52 week low and high so that will this is at a very low position he has bought it which is nice i mean things like that uh, so this is an indicative for uh, your trading purposes the buy value current price current value all these are calculated all these colors are calculated by excel only these columns with these colors have to be put in here and uh, the buy value how much is uh, on a particular date the price is also put in by uh, suppose i am doing uh, checking it for today what is the current price okay that is uh, put in here uh so if you see today minus 1 i put maybe uh, today's price i am not sure whether you put can put it i am not sure let me try that okay it's not updating so one day after only you can get the 
and all it is of course it will not have values so you get the today's current prices there so sell data sell price is there sell quantity is there therefore the gross profit uh, you realize by this particular uh, buy and sell is calculated here what are the remaining shares uh, and all that uh, some some information which sell day something for astrological purpose or something so what is this gross of course this doesn't take into account of the losses that you will incur to zero the zb and all that maybe you can use it as a buy and put a negative number for buy there uh, that is also the done here i think he has put as a zero the charges or something he deducts that as well i'm not sure whether he has included it here okay so he has put uh, minus 62 for the charges incurred to zero the as a sale price so that way you can use this excel that way and it will tell you oh, in apollo ties what this is also as the sector uh, uh, this is uh, you can just in energy minerals what all he has saved in these fields also or elka so that is one thing that is interesting which days have been good for him wellness case what profit he has made of course the panjanga sheet uh, so from this the profit uh, that you have got here i mean the profit is uh, something sell quantity gross profit this is the input that he give to the other uh, excel so this is how this use excel is used you take this input uh, this numbers and paste it there and then see uh, analyze your panchanga for trading i will put both this excel for your download uh, give it a try there may be lot of improvements that might be required because i am not a trading person myself so uh, of course it might be useful to some uh, maybe some improvements might be needed so give us the feedback thank you very much bye